Hearts, happy faces, and jellyfish fireworks all work the same way. Take a spherical firework shell and physically arrange the stars in the desired pattern. I, I mean, it's magic, actually. These are stars, which are the burning balls of light you see when a firework explodes. Isn't an explosion a chaotic, violent destruction of the firework? How does that make a nice symmetrical pattern? The law of conservation of momentum implies the momentum before the explosion must equal the momentum after the explosion in a closed system. Momentum is mass times velocity, and before the explosion, nothing is moving, which means velocity is zero, so your momentum is zero. But after the explosion, everything is moving very fast, which clearly means it has a non-zero momentum. So how does momentum before the explosion, which is zero, equal momentum after the explosion? Explain that one to me, Mr. Wizard. To simplify, we will ignore all components except for two stars on opposite sides of the shell. Zero total momentum means momentum in one direction must equal momentum in the opposite direction. If both stars are the same mass, then the speed of the star going in one direction needs to equal the speed of the star going in the opposite direction. After adding together the momentum of the entire system, we get a total momentum of zero. What if there was only one star in the exact center of the shell? Which direction would it go? Tell me what you think in the comments below. How do pyrotechnicians ensure the shell breaks with the right orientation to the crowd so that you see this and not this? Obviously more magic. We actually can't control that since the shell tumbles and spins on all three axes as it ascends, so instead we fire what we call a look. A look consists of multiple of the same shell type fired back to back to compensate for this, raising the probability that at least one of the shells will break with the right orientation to the crowd. There are other physics at play, but conservation of momentum is the primary reason we can create amazing patterns of fire in the sky. Thanks to Skylighter for the shell hemispheres we used to make the fireworks models. Link to their website in the description below. This is Mike from Pyro Innovations, and I'll see you on the next one.